Jake Ludington here at HP Discover in Madrid with Sarah Clues. And people get all excited talking about you know faster IOPS and everything, but you also need tape backup some of the time as well. And I understand there's a new tape offering. There is. So earlier this month, we announced the new HP Strava MSL 3040, which is a small scalable tape library suitable for small to medium enterprises uh, looking for scalable storage. Um, it's available with LTO 6 and 7. Uh, drive support. It's a use case for um, typical backup and recovery still um, as well as archive and compliance. We're seeing new use cases though for um, people who want uh, an offline, off-premises archive with a typical air gap. So with the rise in ransomware at the moment, um, we're seeing a lot more people invest in tape uh, for those use cases as well. So how does that work in a scenario where you need the air gap? Like, how do you, does, the, does the backup happen in, in kind of like in the old days where you'd take the tapes and go put them in a safe you somewhere? You do still do that, yeah. And we have a lot of um, even large enterprises with our enterprise library still doing that. Um, typically, uh, those who need sort of compliance reasons um, and things stored away uh, from ransomware. It's, it's offline, it's, it's stored, and you know it's safe. No one can tamper with it particularly as well, and it's there if it should uh, natural disaster, for example, or, or cyber attacks. And is this something that typically integrates with, with other storage offerings as well? So you might use Nimble or 3 par or something as well, but, yeah. then, but then you're going to also use this particular offering? Yeah, so we tend to see that we're having sort of storage tiers a lot more now, so we can um, sort of relieve the primary arrays and the secondary arrays, offload sort of unstructured, um, infrequently accessed data. Um, and cold data specifically for sort of HPC environments who need to store a lot of um, data for a, a long amount of time for sort of big data analytics and uh, research and science. So we're seeing um, that happen a lot more. And so, so for if, if somebody does need to access it, though, is there yeah. is there um, anything? particular about this new offering that makes it easier to pull it back out of cold storage or not particularly it's still used as an archive tier so um, yeah we do still use the LTO 7 and LTO 6 cartridges for um, this MSL tape library that's new very mm -hmm. good thanks Sarah thank you